can't get in here. They're playing men fights. <laughs> that was great. That's, great. Uh, that's, that's really great. interesting. Anyway, actually. moving on to the next topic. I have a showdown, a, a battle of the ages that I would like to go through with you because I feel like you're a knowledgeable fellow and you might be able to help me okay. get to the bottom of this. Okay, I'll listen. Like, like thinking of like objective quality, you know, like try and draw the nostalgia out for a sec. What do you think is like the best animated TV show that's come out? We'll do like with it, you know, that was in our time of watching animated TV shows. Okay. So no anime. You're not into that. I'm not. We're talking like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon bangers. Disney Channel didn't have anything, so... Okay. <laughs> Wait, so like when we were growing up specifically or since? Yeah, li or like what it, w of what you saw, like that kind of all falls in. Because I didn't watch The Simpsons when I was a kid, but I've seen it now. And that's I'd, probably I'd say that's more geared to the an older audience. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd agree. It to between Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Okay. So here's the thing with Nickelodeon. Basically, in our age when we were growing up, for me, I especially, I'm pretty sure you relate to a few of these, but there was basically four big shows. There was SpongeBob SquarePants. Mm -hmm. There was The Fairly Odd Parents. Oh. There was Jimmy Neutron. Jeez Louise. And there was Danny Phantom. Heavy hitters, all of them. So I want to say SpongeBob because, I mean, SpongeBob was just like God tier. Yeah. Like every single episode from like seasons one to three is somebody's favorite SpongeBob episode. Like, and they're so it's quotable out to so infinity. iconic y anyone our age you can quote quote it to absolutely almost but spongebob has went on for way too long oh yeah and i think it's still on I it is still on and it is terrible so i don't know that i'd say spongebob just because there's so much like yeah. even though the first three seasons were like literally perfect there's also a lot of it yeah that you really can watch as much. You know who didn't suffer that problem? Mm. Jimmy Neutron. That show was gold from top. So that's my thing. Is like same thing with Fairly Odd Parents. Like Fairly yeah. Odd Parents. Oh, no, I went too long. Yeah. It's pretty good. I don't think it's as good as SpongeBob, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But it went on for way too long and it got bad. But Jimmy Neutron and Danny Phantom both had like an yeah. end. Like the movie. They, they oh, stopped. dude. Danny Phantom movie. So holy good. guacamole, dude. You know, I met Butch. Oh, well, I didn't meet him, but I saw Butch Hartman in person. Oh, really? Yeah, he went to my. He came to my college and like Butch. talked for a little while. Um, and I was way. A lot of people were very excited about Fairly Odd Parents, and I was like the only guy that was like Danny Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> There's like one dude that was like Tough Puppy, and I was tough like Tough Puppy. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Tough Puppy. We don't talk about that. He's a tough puppy. But as far that was as a good, it was a good intro though. I'll give. Oh that. yeah. As far as Nickelodeon goes, though, I think I think probably Jimmy Neutron yeah, is I'm the best one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Jimmy. I love Danny Phantom, but I also watched a lot more of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. So for me, I think Nick the Crown goes to Jimmy. Well, because Jimmy had such good characters, like Sheen and Carl. Are I love Sheen. Phenomenal and Carl. comic, and even Hugh. You know, like there's just there's just so such great characters that you just love so much and just yeah. make you laugh. Let's get this straight. Um, Shows, maybe they're debatable, but as far as TV dads go, <laughs> Hugh Neutron is like triple S tier. I mean, I already know I'm going to be Hugh Neutron when I'm a dad. It's just, I've accepted it, you know? I'm not, I'm not saying I like it. I just know it's going to happen. Just be a duck guy? Yeah, I'm going to be a bird king. I already have a duck painting in my room. I'm, uh, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. Once I buy the first model duck, it's over. Disney was kind of different than Nick. Disney didn't have a ton of, like, big flagship shows in the way Nick did. Was my life as a teenage robot <laughs> Disney Channel? That was Nickelodeon. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I didn't watch that. I, I think I saw like one episode. Uh, I, I've never seen my life as a teenage robot, bro. What? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> I don't even know who... Never heard of that show in my life. I don't dude. even know who Jenny is. Oh, dang it. I know, her, oh, I know what her shoot. name is. <laughs> no, I did. What? Jenny who? Um, she's the teenage robot oh, you from say. the show. As far as Disney goes, it was kind of later into our childhood, but Phineas and Ferb oh, is yeah, like... that was a banger. That's probably the best cartoon Disney's ever put out. Yeah, and Perry the Platypus exclusively. Like, th that whole dynamic. Oh, I love Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz. One of the best <laughs> villains ever made on a cartoon. Doofenshmirtz quality brought, brought worse. worse. Um, 
but a lot of like the good Disney shows kind of were before our time, like Recess. Yeah, I have good memories of Recess, but I wouldn't say it's something I grew up with. No, for sure not. Um, you know, Goof Troop. Well, same with Nick, like uh, Ren and Stimpy and Rocco and all like those Mm -hmm. were great. It's just like we weren't cognizant (laughs) when they were around. (laughs) I saw them on reruns, but I didn't like grow up with Rocco's Modern Life. If I can give an honorable mention, Ren and Stimpy. Cause, uh, so I picked up the season later on DVD, the two, yeah. uh, the three seasons that came out or whatever. And I was watching them. And my dad was like, oh, I used to watch this with you when you were like a baby. So I oh. technically did watch it. I just don't remember. And maybe that's why, I've, uh, you know, any any mental problem I do have at this point, I think it might just be from watching Ren and Stimpy at a young age. There you I'm go. Sure it was horrifying. There you go. That must be it. <laughs> um, but Disney, I think I'm going to give the crown for our age group has to be Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. It was a little, started a little late, but I'd st- I'd still qualify it as a childhood show. Uh, but then you got the big boy, Cartoon Network. The network, dude. Which was pretty much, I mean, it's in the name. It's Cartoon Network. Yeah. Like, this is the place to go if you want some good cartoons. I mean, when I was young, uh, my favorite cartoon when I was young was Ed, Ed, and Eddie all the way. That's, like, all I watched. Mm. I was just Ed, Ed, and Eddie fiend. I loved it. And Scooby Doo, bro. Oof, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is great. All the Hanna Barbera properties, yeah, were fine. Like, I like. I guess I like the Flintstones and the Jetsons, but I don't really have any memories of them. Yeah. But Scooby Doo was like the only one. It lasted. It's iconic, man. Oh yeah, and the franchise. Old cartoon. It's. I like the original Scooby Doo. It's really endearing because it's. It's like okay. Hear me out. It's like the Evil Dead of cartoons, because in the evil, the original Evil Dead, like you know how it's such a student film, like yeah. there's mistakes everywhere mm-hmm. in it, and Sam Raimi embraces it. Yeah, that's how the original Scooby Doo like cartoon was. I can see that. It was so like the budget was like two dollars <laughs> basically, <laughs> and it just, and it didn't really hide it at all. It kind of embraced how stupid it was. All right, but what do you think about this game theory? The running sound effect is just someone peeing. The one that's like, it's just someone peeing. Pee in the water, on what? the toilet bowl, and you'll hear it. And you'll be like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check. Um, But older Cartoon Network oh, was great. My Gym Partner's a Monkey. Oh. That got a shout out. I actually it? liked that show. I was a big fan. I, I, I don't remember a whole lot about it. I think I watched a couple episodes. Not as good as Camp Laszlo, but you know. Camp Laszlo was great. Um, I was a scout, so that that show really like mm-hmm. res resed with me. I remember a lot of the original cartoon cartoons like Dexter's Lab oh, and yeah. Powerpuff Girls and Johnny <laughs> Bravo and all those shows. I love Johnny Bravo a lot. I think I like him more now because <laughs> he's really funny. Um, but those shows were great. I wouldn't say I really grew up on any of those particularly. Like, yeah. I like I I remember Ed and Eddie and I remember it being on. I didn't watch it personally. I was more of a so like the the two shows I really remember from Cartoon yeah, Network. I know you're. I know the ones you love. You haven't even brought them up yet. Have I? You're big boys. I feel like there's two that you're like. Oh well, we'll see what your two are. I'm gonna mention two I really like now. I really like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yep. That's a amazing show. And I love Kids Next yep. Door. Those are the two I was thinking about. Kids <laughs> Next Door. That's my favorite cartoon. That's my favorite Number cartoon four. ever. <laughs> um, but I don't know. If it's the best cartoon. It's pretty good because it has an ending too. It's all. It's fun too, and like there's a little continuity, which is nice. There's a yeah. There's actual. There's like a real kind of plot to it. I was amazed at how they managed to make every episode different you know like yeah. it was a different aspect of being a kid like oh this is birthdays this is yeah. pool parties this is you know different aspects you'd see as a kid but then you up the, yeah. the drama mm-hmm. and that's always exciting as a kid also like as a kid like you kind of in your mind you are exaggerating things so it's nice to have something on that level that's also kind of mm-hmm. Like maybe I don't want to get like oh my, why you dread something irrational as a child and the show is just like yeah of course yeah like of course you you know you see you know these adults as these villains or like you know the, the, the all this crazy stuff going on and mm-hmm. I like that it grounds it in reality a little bit yeah and Foster's was great 
for me just because I loved those characters. Cheese. And Cheese I, was the best. Cheese was great. <laughs> I really liked the art style. There really wasn't a whole lot kind of like it at the time. No, yeah. So I loved those two shows. But uh, And then there was kind of an era right after that. It was pretty much the last, Oof. kind of the oh. last great era of cartoons. See, I think, honestly, my, my best is going to be in this era. So we had... I Adventure Time, dude. Oh, Holy Adventure Time's freaking in there. guacamole. I'll, I'll talk about Adventure Time in a sec. So Flapjack was like the first one, right? Ooh, yep. I that liked Flapjack a lot, and I feel like I'd like it more now because it's one of those shows that's kind of weird, and I feel like the creators watched a lot of weird stuff Yeah. and were like, sure. oh, we have the rights to make a cartoon. How can we sneak as much kind of weird <laughs> off-kilter stuff? Chowder was in that era. Chowder was great. Chowder! You know, I learned about Chowder what? the other day. They canceled it because they thought too few boys were watching it hmm. in our age range. Huh. So they didn't think young boys were watching their shows enough. So you know what they did? What? They created a show called Destroy, Build, Destroy. Wow. Isn't that the most like stereotypical It kind of is corporate answer you can think of? Young boys aren't watching us. What do we do? Make a show. What's destroy. it called? <laughs> destroy, build, destroy. Yeah, not nuanced enough. I think that's funny. And then that show was a disaster. <laughs> um, but like you said, Adventure Time was in yeah. that era. I'll big, big disclaimer, and people are going to hate me. I've never seen Adventure Time. Ah. Much of it. Oh, another one I've never seen. Avatar. Oh, wow, really? I want to. That's one of those good ones that has a plot. That was I forgot to mention that in the Nick section, but Avatar was like yeah. another pretty solid cartoon. Well, at least for for like serious cartoon, Avatar definitely takes the cake mm -hmm. any day in my book. But you've seen Adventure Time, oh, and yes. I've I I know it's good. I've heard much good things about it. Have you seen Adventure Time? Is like it, I think it came out when I was like you know like ten or or what grade were we in? It's like sixth, fifth grade, like fifth or sixth. Yeah. yeah. What what age were we? <sighs> ten, eleven. Going into sixth grade, we were probably, yeah. yeah, 10 or 11 years old. So 10 or 11 years old, like, the show starts. And, like, that's kind of the same age as Finn. Mm -hmm. And in the early seasons, the show is a lot more – it just deals with a lot of things that, like, an 11-year-old would be thinking about. And as it progresses, like, season four, like, you're kind of getting the things a 14-year-old is thinking about. And as it gets lot later and later, it starts tackling a lot more things that are of the age that – I was just at, and a lot of people that started watching it at my age when it came out, like the target audience, were also at those, you know, stages of things. And it, like, kind of felt like a show that really grew up with you. To where at the point, like, at the end, it was very serious. You know, it got to be kind of a lot more adult because we were adults, the people watching it. And it's like a show that, like, they decided to, instead of just keeping it like SpongeBob, you know, Kitty for all time, you know, you just grow out of it, and next gen watches SpongeBob. This was like, if you started this, like, it was going to, grow up with you basically and like it was this whole journey that went along it was crazy mm -hmm. so wh while everyone was out it was a great show if you haven't seen it oh yeah. <laughs> the other show that was on right then that i think was probably the last actually well i haven't seen it so i can't really attest but i've heard good things about gumball that was like literally right on the end and and gumball it's good but it, it I, I see I, I see like everything wrong with cartoon network started with gumball that yeah, kind I'm not of humor, oh, I agree with that, that kind of tone is like that's Gumball, and it all started there. So I that's kind of like mm. I've heard, but I have heard good things about Gumball. Yeah, but I haven't seen it, and it wasn't in my childhood. It's like so. the beginning of the end, basically. Uh, <laughs> my well, oh, one I about, uh, was that one Grandpa, Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> never seen it in my life. I would never want to, frankly. No. There are some bangers that have come out recently, like We Bear Bears, though. We there Bear is Bears so is a great cartoon it is kind of in that art style that cal arts mm -hmm. thing but it's it's mm -hmm. a bear mm -hmm. so Don't you know start on that oh, i won't get you started but <laughs> we bear bears is pretty funny and it's i mean it's actually got like good voice actors in it and real you know like bobby moynihan and yeah. dimitri martin and people that are you know real actors so that's good one we didn't talk about is regular show um which i love regular show regular oh Especially now, which is I'm going through it basically for the first time as of a couple of years ago. Because I remember watching ads, but, you know, it wasn't the most um, kid-friendly show. No. 
So I was actually not allowed to watch regular show. You I wasn't know, either. You want to know why? Because mm. in one episode, Benson gets mad and he smashes a phone. My mom said, this show teaches you to deal with your problems with anger and violence. You can't watch it anymore. And I was like, that flew right over my head. That's not what I got from the situation. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that this dude is mad and it's and Benson. So like, you don't like Benson in the first place. Yeah. So you're not going to act like Benson. You want to no, act like yeah. Mordecai and Rigby. Yeah, exactly. And I love how J.G. Quintel, again, he's another guy who, like, he clearly is into a lot of kind of not for kids thing. Like, he's a. He reminds me of a uh, guy who made SpongeBob. Steven oh, Hillenburg? Yeah, Steven yeah. Hillenburg a lot. I see a lot of. We're giant Twin Peaks boys. Oh, yeah. Um, and in regular show, there's a ton of stuff that's like, okay, yeah, that is a Twin Peaks thing. Not a reference, but, like, you can tell he watched a lot of Lynch yeah. and a lot of. You know, there's a lot of reference in that shit, or it's tasteful. It's not like overt at all. It's no, very yeah. disguised and unique. I and again, I love shows that just take it from zero to a hundred really quick. Yeah, and that happens basically every episode of regular show. Not to say that makes a show good, because sometimes it makes it bad. But regular show does it in a way that I think is really yeah. good. Well, they also said pissed off, which was like I know they said they said head. not for kid words in that show, like dude. Like, th- I'm pissed off. When they said he's like, it's too late, bro. Like, it's, it's too the hugest late. hugest deal. It's already in motion. It's already in motion. <laughs> I don't think it's a very good show, but I watched a lot of Pokemon growing up. Pokemon. Um, I watched a bit. It but, wasn't. again, I don't think it's a very good show. <laughs> it's probably pretty bad, to be honest. But I did watch it growing up, so I figured I'd mention it. Um, What else did I watch? Hmm. Total Drama Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was another one I was. I didn't. I wasn't allowed to watch it, but eventually I watched it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's got good moments. It's a fine satire that got worse." Man, what a time for cartoons where like a, mo- a lot of kids weren't allowed to watch most of them because they were so edgy. Yeah, that's that's kind of the age. Is that where it started? Edgy with like those cartoons, kind of like, sh- kind of were like, hey. Kind of. I mean, they started to be a little less for kids. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say it was kind of the end of, like, our childhood for cartoons. Because we still had friends who watched them, and we were still kids in that sense. But it was toward the end where we stopped being able to watch some of them. Because it was like, ooh, these are getting a little... These aren't so much The pendulum has swung back now, I think, too. Mm -hmm. To where it's back to just milk toast kitty stuff. Yeah. They do push the envelope, but it's in the most contrived mm-hmm. way you can think of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of cartoons that I'm missing. Oh. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Grim Adv- I didn't watch it a lot, oh. but it was another one I was aware of, and yeah. I was like, okay, that's grim. That I liked grim. I, th- I liked it. It kind of made a lot of those horror motifs like very fun, you know? Mm-hmm. And kind of like... Inter- it. it, it Definitely, like, watching it, and then, like, if you become a horror fan later, you'll be like, wow, like, Billy and Mandy, like, kind of yeah. showed me a lot of these these little aesthetics and little things and little pop culture stuff. It's fun. Yeah. That's why I think I didn't watch it as a kid, because it was, like, too grim. Yeah. Oh. Courage the Cowardly Courage Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog is awesome. <laughs> Amazing show. Um, <laughs> terrifying. Any, terrifying. Disturbing. I haven't even talked about some of the best shows, which were DC cartoons back in the day. I'm talking Batman Beyond was great. I didn't watch the animated series of Batman much as a kid. Batman Beyond was sick, though. Batman Beyond was great. I loved Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Yeah. Those were great. And I really loved Teen Titans. Um, Even Young Justice and Batman the Brave and the Bold. Oh, those are great, too. Those are a little on the end of childhood, but still, I was like, okay, those are... Well, Brave and the Bold more. I remember watching that as a kid. Yeah. Brave and the Bold was just like feel good. It was a lot of fun. And it introduced you to so many new like DC characters. I feel like it got people into those more obscure guys. Yeah. Like Blue Beetle and Metamorpho and stuff. Uh, same story with Pokemon. I I think I watched a lot of Ben 10 as a kid, but I don't <laughs> think Ben 10's a very great show. It's okay. It's better than Pokemon. <laughs> so if we had to say... All right, so we said our best from Nick is Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Best from Disney is Phineas and Ferb. There yeah. wasn't a whole lot of options, but Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. Best from Cartoon Network. Best. Best for me? It's got to be Adventure Time. Adventure Time. 
for me, I think the best one, I mean, I hate to play into favorites, but I think for me, the best one was Kids Next Door. That's that's close to, for me, too. I think that yeah. was a great show. That is a phenomenal show. So of those three for you, what do you think the best cartoon was? The best? Adventure Time, bro. Adventure Time. I'll, like, I'll take that to the grave. That's just quality. <laughs> I think the, uh, I think I got to go Cartoon Network for me, too. I think probably Kids Next Door. Yeah. I love Jimmy Neutron, but I think yeah. I love the art of Kids Next Door a little more. Mm-hmm. And Kids Next Door was more in my childhood than Phineas and Ferb was. Because yeah. Phineas and Ferb ended when we were like in high school. so Yeah, and it, yeah, it was a middle school kind of show. As far as a childhood show, I'm like Kids Next Door. That That's the one for me. That's the one. Anyway, let us know in the comments, guys, what your favorite shows were from going up. We want to hear from you. We, we oh, yeah. desperately need to hear from you because the government wants to n- hear from you so they can find out who you are and track you basically we crave attention and it also de- it makes the difference between life and death for us yeah so because there's a guy right over there he's right over there it's just he's he's right per- i don't think he sleeps or drinks or eats what is he russian i don't know i don't even know how he got here to our cabin he's really Wyo- bald he's balder than any man i've seen i don't know if that's possible I don't even know how he got here to our cabin in Wyoming. Wait. What? We're not in a cabin in Wyoming. What's what just happened? Oh, well, we should have addressed this at the beginning, but um, we have a confession to make about Wyoming. It wasn't real. <laughs> it was all a lie. It was a meme. <laughs> You've been goofed, folks. You've been totally beamboozled. Schusterville, Wyoming? Not a exist. real place? <laughs> Cafe La Internet? You idiots. <laughs> Did you even go on Google Maps? That's not an establishment. I bet you didn't because you're stupid. <laughs> now, now, why would we lie in such a way? Well, the reason is quite simple. We wanted to divert our attention away from the government, trying to uh, escape their eternally gazing eye, that of Sauron from that of the big brother Tolkien Sauron. Lord of the Rings books. So we set up some fake wood paneling and put on the facade of us being in a town called Schusterville, Wyoming. We've been in L.A. the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here in front of the void. We're literally in Joe Rogan's closet right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why'd you just say where we are? You should have done it. Well, regardless, this guy with the gun keeps finding us. So Is we're... that Joe Rogan? Oh, wait, wait. That's Joe Rogan. Oh, you said he was bald. Oh, my God. That's Joe Rogan. Hey, what's up, Joe? Hey, Joe. Hey, do you want to come in? No, I don't think he wants to. What a power move. Inviting Joe Rogan on our podcast. I forgot people can't know that we know him. They can't know. They can't know. Well, thank you guys for watching. uh, Mint Bites. The show where we talk about what is mint. Uh, Brief mini podcast. Brief clips. Yeah. Oh, this one was like 20 minutes long. That's fine. Hey, that, that's in some podcast clip videos. I've seen that. That's brief. All right, Joe? I'll yeah, call it brief. Yeah, long. Joe, that's you right. some long ones. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, this is sort of to hold you over until we film another yeah. uh, proper Just that was taste. mint. But, uh, yeah, see you later. Later. Love you. <laughs> I, I guess I love you, too. Yeah.